Well, it usually happens every four years, but do you know why? Fox's Ted Lindner unravels the importance of leap years and what life on Earth would be like if we didn't have them. It's still the shortest month, but this year, February is an extra day longer, all thanks to 2024 being a leap year. And while it may not seem like a big deal, there's a whole lot of science and math behind why we alter our calendars. The reason we have leap years is because the length of the year and, and the length of the day are not really related to each other. A year is measured by the amount of time it takes the Earth to make one full trip around the sun. According to NASA, that takes about 365 days, six hours and nine minutes. In order to keep the calendar synced up with things like the seasons, um, particularly when the beginning of spring is and the beginning of fall, the, the equinoxes, um, we have to make a correction to the calendar. And if we didn't have leap years, life as we know it would look a lot different. What would happen is eventually the calendar would get uh, out of sync with the seasons. So we would like to have the start of spring be in March. And if we didn't have the leap years, eventually the, the spring would start to drift and we'd start having the first day of spring be in January or October. The basic idea is that usually every four years, you add an extra day to the calendar. But in the distant future, the length of the day is actually growing uh, longer due to tidal effects from the moon. So eventually, um, we won't need uh, leap years anymore um, when the uh, number of uh, days and years is exactly 365. Um, that's going to happen in about something like two to three million years from now. The next leap year won't be until 2028. Ted Lindner, Fox News.